Alright, what up my dudes? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Scribbles, the artist and crocheter behind the Eclectic Scribbles. We're starting a new How Much Do I Crochet in One Weekend video. So, this video is going to stretch from 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday to the end of Sunday. Um, so, anything that I get done over the course of this weekend, I will share with you guys. I do not crochet full time as I am an artist and business owner and house keeper and dog mom and so <laughs> I don't crochet full time but this is what I get done in a typical weekend when I crochet my normal amount so we're going to start with everything that I crocheted last night this is from 5 p.m. until about 9 30 I would say um, when my hands started to get a little bit tired so this is uh about four and a half five hours worth of work Let's start with this little dude. This is a little tilted head axolotl. Isn't it cute? I think that animals with their heads tilted are kind of extra cute because it's like, what? Ask Bubby. He does it all the time. He does this. And um, I just think it's freaking adorable. So, we've got this little dude. He's got his little bling on him. Check him out. He's got blush on his little rosy cheeks, which I love. So, that's number one. Uh, next up, we, we have the Oak and Marlow Chicken. The Oak and Marlow Chicken, I have um, fallen victim to it, like everyone else. I've got some local markets here soon, and I think that they'll do well. They seem to do well at everybody else's. So, here is my chicken from last night. Um, and then, I did... little mushroom boys this is my pattern you can get it on my website Rivler Etsy you can get it anywhere you want I did two blue tealish blue and two and two red they've all got their bling they're all wearing some bling they all have their little blush there he is bling 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 those four I did those four and <laughs> this uh, this little fella I did him um and that is all I worked on as far as crochet last night so that's all I got done besides I put some eyeballs on some things that were already in my bag so for five hours of work four and a half five hours of work i've got one two three four five six seven seven new plushies so that's not too bad um and these take roughly 20 minutes to do each and then we'll say three four minutes to embellish with the keychains and the gemstones after you find the gemstones that you want to use obviously um this little one i was working out a pattern so this little one took me quite some time i always go slow when i'm starting to work on something but i wanted a cute little piggy um this little one took me um 30 ish minutes 30 ish minutes and then i had to embellish and then this one took me right at right 30 minutes so you know is what it is there that's pretty much how long i spent on each one of these projects so about 30 minutes for the majority of it and then this one took me longer as i was trying to figure out different aspects of this little dude and how I wanted him to look so that always takes longer but he does have blush in his ears he's got blushy cheeks oh hold on he's got blushy ears he's got blushy cheeks and oh <laughs> because I'm crazy he has a blushy butt 
anyways, that's what I did for Friday. I am going to work out here in the studio doing some admin tasks for the first half of today, which is Saturday. And I am going to go in and crochet this evening like I normally do. So again, this is not something that I do full time. Um, this is just what I get done in the evenings when I have time set aside to work anyways. Plus, I'm going to get price tags on all of these things today so I'm not overwhelmed next week with having to tag absolutely everything. So I'm going to work on that. So I have just finished up tagging all of my little plushies that I have made so far this month that are needing to go into stock. I print my little tags, I put my little barcodes on the back of anything that's not in a bin. And um, I've been using this gun, this little doohickey. And I will say that this it works but it's a little tricky. Um, so you need to make sure that you're like sort of going into a stitch and not in between stitches because these things are so small that they just pop right out. I've had to attach a couple um, more than once. So these are the really short ones that came with this. Um, I also have some really long ones, um, which I thought would be better, but aren't really working out great so far but I'm, I'm gonna use them uh, when I get to them. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I thought I had them all done and I was gonna start the studio vlog and then I realized that I have two more little dudes to go that need barcodes. They already have their things attached, they just need your barcodes attached. So I'm gonna do that real quick. It is Saturday the, I don't know what day it is, and I, <laughs> it's Saturday the, 21st the 21st of October so this is part of my market prep for um, for my market on Saturday next week which is going to be here in a local market and actually the first local market that I have ever done um, I went straight into conventions I did not start with local markets because I'm in a super small town and I wasn't really aware of any actual markets in the area and as I've sort of figured out how to find these kinds of things i have located a bunch more so there's a market this next weekend on the 28th i have a market on the 19th i believe it is of november which is really close as well um it's a sippage shop at a local brewery about 30 minutes away and um then i have one set of night markets that happens over the course of the summer so it's like one market per month over the summer. So it's like the first Saturday of every month. So I'm gonna see if I can work those out um, based on my schedule as far as conventions are concerned. But yeah, I'm gonna get these last ones done. All right, what up my dudes? It is Sunday morning about nine o'clock. So I figured I would show you what I worked on in about four-ish hours last night. So, I've got one, one, two, tubes. So these tubes are going to be beanies. I'm going to fix these up in a minute. I'll probably show you some of that process. I have got, I made myself a list. Let me grab my list real quick. 
made myself a list of things that I wanted to get done and to replace from my previous couple of conventions so that I would know what I needed still. And that was two axolotls, two little chunky axolotls that I wanted to sort of make up a pattern for. Um, four little chunky frogs, four more little worry octos, four more little jellyfish, so those can all go on keychains and not just standalone. Um, three possums, uh, three pocket piggies, two more stingrays, three more kittens, two elephants, um, three monsters, two zombies, and two more flockers and then I want to do some like larger items some imps and sprites um, that I sort of have floating around in my head but we'll see how that goes that's sort of a iffy for this con this market in particular because those are going to take quite a, a little bit of time so let's see how far I got on that last night um, we've got one two three Four little bears. Now I have to attach the keychains to them. I have to put eyeballs on them, but we've got four little bears. This is the gummy bear pattern. It is free from Instagram. I will link it, obviously. But we've got four little bears. I'm gonna zhuzh them up just a little bit. And then since I had this out and I know I didn't have any in this color, we've got two little chunky frogs here and one little um, octo. One little octo. And then, oh, one little elephant. One little elephant. I put blush in its cheeks and blush in its little ears. So, adorable. Freaking adorable. Love it. Um, so, there's our little elephant. And that's pretty much it. That's what I got done last night in that amount of time. And so, now we're going to just run through and we're going to zhuzh them up. We're gonna put eyeballs on them, attach keychains to them, and all of that other good mess. And I figured I'd take you along for some of that, um, for some of that, so that you can come along with me as I do this. So let's get into it.
so we just got done doing all of these I think I'm gonna attach pom-poms to these which is why I left the strings on here for now but here is this beanie here is this beanie I have there are like a thousand beanie tutorials out there but if you want me to make one leave one in the comments I will happily do it figured I would show you all the bears done they all have little blush they all have a gemstone and they have gemstone eyes I said I wanted to make my plushes stand out I wanted my plushies to be a little bit different from the rest of the crowd and so when I was walking through the store the other day I saw these little jewels and I thought about adding all these little jewels and things to zhuzh up my little characters so I've sort of matched their keychains to them and then I've matched their jewels to them giving everybody a little blush I don't know if I would have said this already, but this was a never put on my face. <laughs> never put on my face blush. Don't go using your actual makeup. Don't go, you know, dipping used brushes in your face and back into the palette and contaminating it and then putting this on your plushies. This, I just opened specifically for this. It's never been used before. And this brush wasn't the brush that I wanted, so it's never been used before. None of this stuff has touched my skin. My skin has not come into contact with anything. So if you're gonna do something like this, please use something specific for this. You can also use like chalk pastels and things like that um, to uh, add blush to characters. So I gave the little froggies little hearts. Got little hearts. And I gave the little Octo some little pearls. Figured that was under the sea-ish. So I gave them some little pearls. And they're super cute. Um, I haven't done anything to my elephant yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I might want to do to him. But, I mean, otherwise, he's technically, he's finished. This is a finished piece. I just have to decide if I want to give him some little jewels. And I've been thinking about adding at least one little jewel to the butt of my things. Sort of like a My Little Pony inspo. So, I may do that. But, yeah. There's him. So that's everything that I made up last night. I will do one more um, recap of what I do this evening um, to let you know how the weekend itself finished out. you guys it is time to close out everything I crocheted over the weekend and last night I was doing a bunch of the little things so that I can get those things marked off my list so let's see what I got done I have one two three four frogs I've got four frogs I have got one two three four five jellies I've got five jellies nope I've got six jellies six jellies 
which is more than I wanted, so that's that's good. Um, I'm gonna put four of them on keychains, and I am going to put the others in the small bins um, that kids like to pick up. Um, and then I have one, two, five little worry octos which I am going to put four of on keychains so that I have a nice selection of keychains for my next upcoming shows I have I have this coming Saturday I have November 4th and 5th I have November 18th November 19th and then December 1st through 3rd so I've got a lot of shows coming up and I am making stock for all of them pretty much I know that these things pretty much sell out every single time um, especially the little worry octos and the little chunky frogs stop it uh, <laughs> so I am he's trying to get some beef jerky he's not allowed to have it right now he didn't do anything anyways um, so I always need these. I always need these. The jellies don't go as quick, so I don't make as many, but I would love to put some on keychains so to have a nice little assortment of keychains happening. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for what I crocheted this weekend. This is a normal weekend for me. I didn't do anything super fast. I didn't um, work more than I usually work. Uh, crochet is an evening thing for me. As I sit and watch TV, I crochet to keep my hands busy. So I don't crochet full time. I, in fact, um, really only, only crochet a couple hours, maybe a night and not every night. So that is, that is what I got done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a green heart down in the comments. Um, I love your faces. Thank you so much for being here. Um, see you in the next video coming up. The next one I think is a studio vlog or con prep or market prep or something. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows at this point? Anyways, I don't know. I love your faces. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.